All right, so 2012, it is Same Love by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis yep. versus Banza Make Her Dance by Juicy J. Yep. I think it's fairly obvious which one it's going to be. But So actually diving into it properly, I think it was actually a really big year for hip-hop. It was a big year, yeah. yep. I agree. Um, the two choices are debatable, I would say. There were much bigger songs. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to probably agree on a couple. Yeah. I think, like, the same love, obviously it was a a massive song. It was played on radio for, like, two or three years, yeah. at least here. It had, had like, are. a really good message, though. Yeah, it did. Like, it, it not only had a, a good reach, but, like, a good message. And one of the first of that message. Especially well. in rap. Yeah. Like, it was so... Yeah, especially if you think back obvious. to, like, yeah, early 2000s or 90s hip-hop. Yeah. How, like, common, you know... Yeah derogatory words in that sense were has a rapper ever come out and said they thought they were gay like because that's what Mac uh, Macklemore did has anyone yeah. come out and said that I don't know like, except for the ones that actually are like obviously yeah like Tyler like, the Creator Ocean for example and stuff like yeah. that yeah um, I, yeah I don't think so yeah. yeah it's quite a um, but like not only because of the way that he was feeling either it's just because like oh I do this and this that yeah. means people have told me that yeah. this is yeah exactly yeah so I'm stereotyping myself. I'm not even considering how I feel. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think it was a really good starting point, um, like, saying, love, for society to start being progressive. Yep. And, like, since it had such a huge uh, reach, or such the, the reach that it did, yeah, um, Yeah, I think it, it was a really good starting point. And I think, honestly, that's when people first started accepting yeah like sort of yeah or oh, mi- minorities i guess oh, shit. and yeah i think like bands that make her dance shouldn't be anywhere near even no. the top five no bands make a dance juicy J. <laughs> I i mean i love you in some songs but god <laughs> this is not one of them like, like it's a good song but yeah, like, yeah it's not bad. same love is like yeah a hundred times better it, it, like just macklemore is just a more skillful rapper than oh, juicy J. anyway plus yeah. you add on the yeah, the, the, the message, the heartfelt message. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you have for the, for some, for some add-ons? What do you think for twenty twelve? Well, like, I think even Gangnam Style was worth Gangnam a mention. Gangnam Style. That was fucking huge. That was huge. We obviously had swimming pools. Yep. Uh, Mercy. Yeah, Mercy um, was huge. A gas pedal as well. I think that's even pedal. worth a mes- mention. Click by Jay Z, Kanye West. Yep. <laughs> um, even Thrift Shop. Or yeah, Can't yeah, Can't hold exactly. us by Macklemore. Yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Hands on the Wheel by School Week that, Q. I was literally just about to read that exact same track. Yeah, th- I think there were some absolute bangers released this, this year. Like, um... Problems. All these bitches la sa sa. Oh, yeah. That was that year. Yeah. As well as, like, that's the shit we don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as if those are, Mag- like, underneath... Yeah, Good Kid, Mad Bands City. to make a dance. Yeah, yeah bands... Yeah. Oh, oh bands... <laughs> Band City, <laughs> good kid, Man City. That's definitely worth a mention. Um, yeah, I've got bitch don't kill my vibe. Uh, fucking problems as well. Yeah, problems. Yeah, I said that one. Yeah, yeah. Great year, twenty. And I think when we get to twenty eighteen. Yeah, twenty eighteen. That it's was going to be an year. insane year again. Yeah. But yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why Juicy J was up there. Yeah, out of those two, I'd say same love, a hundred percent. Like it's leagues about apart. Like, yeah. I don't think Bands Make a Dance would win any year. Like, no, it's not even... an important song yeah. in any sense. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think out of the two, it's Same Love. Yeah. But my song would have to go to Mad City. Mine would be Swing Pools. Mm. Get up. Drang, drang. Yeah. Or I Don't Like or Love So So. Either one of yeah. those, really. That's just um, the pinnacle of trap music. Yeah. Best drill album of all time right there. I agree. Put on your mama. All right. <laughs> That is us for Wednesday. Yes, be sure to catch us tomorrow for my review of on Playlist for the End of the World by Joey Trapp. And then what else is tomorrow? That's it. That's it. And then we have the quiz and then we're done. Almost. Almost.